Hi, in this session we are going to learn about the internal representation of characters. Now characters are internally represented using ASCII values. And if you want to know what exactly an ASCII value is, ASCII value basically stands for American Standard Core for Information Interchange. The ASCII table basically gives you uh, the numeric values for every printable character which is available on the keyboard. Like for example, let us say you have the alphabet A, right? Now A cannot be stored directly inside a computer as A, it has to be converted to some numeric form, right? That numeric form, okay, is basically the ASCII table gives you that numeric form, right? Now if you can just look at this particular table, it displays all the uh, ASCII values for all the alphabets out here as well as the other okay characters. Now if you can just observe for the character A the ASCII value is 65. This table gives you the information in decimal, hexadecimal, octal. Right? So in decimal okay it is 65 but if you are talking in hexadecimal it is 41 if it is you are talking in octal it is 101. The same if you look into lowercase a it is 97 and even the special character like for example space is internally represented as numeric value 32 or if you say a symbol plus symbol it is again represented as okay ASCII value 43 or character 0 is also represented as ASCII value 48. Now, I would like to write a program wherein given a character, I want to know what is the ASCII value of that particular character. Now, let us quickly look into the code. Here, in this simple code, I have a character variable by name C and inside that I have stored the alphabet A and I want to know what is the ASCII value for this. If you want to know the ASCII value for this, it is quite simple, just use printf, use the format specifier percentage D. Remember we have studied that okay whenever you want to print characters you use percentage C but when you use percentage C it is going to print the character corresponding to that that is A but if you want to know the ASCII value for this you can just use percentage D. So let me just try to write ASCII value equal to this right okay now fine. Now, I would like to also print, okay, whatever the character is, okay, this will remain the same. I will just write this as a character. What is my character? Okay, I want to print as percentage C. Now, I would like to run this. My character is A and the ASCII value for this is 65, right? Okay, now you can try it out with any other alphabet, like for example, let us say, if I say lowercase a and you can just observe that it is 97 and then assume that you give a space here okay the ASCII value for the space was 32 right or you can also try out with any other symbols here okay fine. So we just learned how do we see the ASCII value of any character. Now if you want to do the reverse, like you want to assign the ASCII value for the character variable that is also possible. Like for example, let us say I would like to assign let us say uh, 68, right? Okay. Now remember this 68 is not put in a single quotes, it is like assigned as a numeric value. Now what gets stored in C is numeric value 68 but if you try to print with percentage C what happens is it prints the character corresponding to the ASCII value 68, right? So what is the character corresponding to 68? So remember 65 is A, 66 is B, 67 is C, right? Okay, and 68 is D. So let us quickly look into this. Okay, can you just observe this character D here? Right. Now this way you can assign any ASCII value and then we can verify it. Like for example, let us say I'd like 100. Okay. 100 is lowercase d. I would like to write 110. Okay. So, this way you can verify if you have a character, if you want to know the ASCII value or you want to know what is the character corresponding to the specific ASCII value wherein you want to assign the ASCII value, then you can okay, try this button. Thank you.